The Life of Charles Robert Darwin Charles Robert Darwin was one of the most influential scientists in history, whose ideas about evolution through natural selection transformed our understanding of the natural world. Born into a family of doctors and scientists in Shrewsbury, England in 1809, Darwin showed an early interest in nature and spent much of his time exploring the countryside around his home. This interest would eventually lead him on a journey of discovery that would revolutionize biology and change the way we think about ourselves and our place in the world. Chapter 1 Early Life Charles Darwin was born on February 12, 1809, the fifth of six children born to Robert Darwin and Susanna Wedgwood. His father was a successful physician and financier, while his mother came from a family of wealthy industrialists and pottery makers. From an early age, Charles showed a keen interest in nature and spent much of his time exploring the countryside around his home. He was particularly interested in collecting specimens, such as rocks, plants, and insects, and spent many hours studying them. In 1825, at the age of 16, Charles was sent to Edinburgh University to study medicine. However, he found the subject dull and uninteresting and soon gave it up in favor of natural history. He spent the next few years studying and collecting specimens, and in 1831 he was offered a place on the HMS Beagle, which was about to embark on a five-year scientific expedition to South America. Chapter 2 The Voyage of the Beagle During the voyage, Darwin collected an enormous number of specimens, including fossils, rocks, plants, and animals, which he carefully studied and catalogued. He also took extensive notes on the geology, climate, and ecology of the regions he visited, and began to formulate his ideas about the origin of species. One of the most important discoveries Darwin made during the voyage was the existence of living creatures that were similar in many respects. But had distinct differences, depending on their environment. This observation led Darwin to question the prevailing belief in the fixity of species and to propose that all living things had evolved from a common ancestor through a process of natural selection. Upon his return to England in 1836, Darwin began to write up his findings and observations. He spent the next 20 years working on his theory of evolution, which he finally published in 1859 in his book, On the Origin of Species. Chapter 3, The Origin of Species The publication of, On the Origin of Species, caused a sensation, as it challenged the prevailing belief in the fixity of species and proposed that all living things had evolved from a common ancestor through a process of natural selection. It was a controversial theory, and Darwin faced fierce opposition from many quarters, including the church and the scientific establishment. Despite the controversy, Darwin continued to work on his theory. And in subsequent books he expanded on his ideas and gathered further evidence to support them. He also became involved in other scientific pursuits, such as the study of earthworms and the evolution of emotions. Chapter 4, Personal Life Darwin's life was not without its challenges, however. He suffered from poor health throughout much of his life, and was plagued by anxiety and depression. He also struggled with the death of his daughter, Annie, who died at the age of 10. Despite these difficulties, Darwin remained a dedicated scientist, and his work has had a profound impact on our understanding of the natural world. He died on April 19, 1882, at the age of 73, and was buried in Westminster Abbey, where he remains to this day one of the most celebrated and influential figures in the history of science. Chapter 5, Legacy Darwin's legacy is immense, and his ideas about evolution through natural selection have become one of the central tenets of modern biology. His work has not only transformed our understanding of the natural world, but has also had profound implications for our understanding of ourselves and our place in the world. Today, Darwin's ideas continue to inspire new generations of scientists and thinkers. And his influence can be seen in fields as diverse as genetics, ecology, and philosophy. His life and work stand as a testament to the power of curiosity, observation, and perseverance.
and to the transformative potential of scientific inquiry.